I will walk you through the setup from scratch. Okay, without further ado. Okay guys, I wanted to go over the stuff that you will need for this. This is an Xbox controller that I picked up from Amazon for about 15 bucks. You don't have to use a wired one, you can get a wireless one if you want. This is a micro SD card. You will need this to install your RetroPie image on. A micro SD card reader, a USB flash drive, and of course the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi version 4. You can go get away with a lower one, but this is the one I recommend that you use for RetroPie. You will need a regular PC. Uh, I'm using my Windows machine for this. And uh, the monitor. I'm not showing you the cables. You guys already know you'll need the cables and the power supplies to hook all of this up. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step is to burn the RetroPie image on the micro SD card. So I'm gonna insert it into my PC right now. We will then go to retropie.org.uk slash download. On this page, we want the Raspberry Pi 4 slash 400 button. So that's the one you need to click on. This is the link to download the RetroPie image onto your computer. And we're downloading right now. It's about 845 megs. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna make you wait and I'm gonna skip this part. And here we go, let's continue. Okay, so the next piece of software that you guys are gonna need is the Imager program. You may already have one installed in your machine, uh, but I recommend that you get one from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, the Raspberry Pi Imager. And that's the one that I use. In case you don't have it already, you can go to raspberrypi.org slash software. And that's the very first link that you see here. Uh, click on the download button. Um, I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click on download for Windows. It's only about 18 megs, so not too bad. Uh, go ahead and install it. I already have it installed, so let's launch it. The first thing you wanna do is uh, choose the OS, scroll to the very, very bottom, and click on Use Custom. Choose your image that you've downloaded. Click Open. Now choose the SD card. Be super careful with this one. Don't overwrite any of your existing drives. And click Write. I'm going to speed this part up for you, but you may have to wait probably between five to 10 minutes, depending on how fast your system is. Okay, guys, and we're done. Hit Continue. You can now shut down your machine and uh, take out the micro SD card. Okay guys, let's connect everything together. So this is my Raspberry Pi. I already connected it to the monitor, as you can see. Let's insert our micro SD card. There you go. You actually don't need a keyboard for this step. Uh, plug in your controller. There you go. Okay, now let's plug in the power into our Raspberry Pi. All right, the moment of truth. Here you can see the disadvantage of having a 4K monitor. <laughs> Look at the text, it's like so tiny. Here we go, here we go. Uh, so as you can see, it has detected my keypad uh, and we need to set it up. I highly recommend getting a controller instead of a keyboard. It's just so much easier. I tried using it with a keyboard and it's just horrible. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, so hold down one of the keys. So this will guide you through setting up your controller. Uh, just follow the instructions. So my pad up, down, left, right. And hit OK. So as you can see, we don't have any games loaded yet. So this is the only thing that you're going to see. So what we need to do is uh, get the games onto this. And that's why we have the flash drive uh, here. So let's uh, go ahead and plug in your flash drive into your PC. So we're gonna need your PC again. So plug in your USB drive. In your USB drive, create a new folder called 
retro pi. That's it. Eject your USB drive. Now plug in your USB drive into the Raspberry Pi. So when you plug in your USB drive into your Raspberry Pi, the RetroPie system will create a set of folders for you and this is where you will be adding the games. So wait until this is done so I have a little indicator light on my USB drive. So once this light goes out, I know that it's done. If you don't have one, if you don't have a light on your drive, you may have to just wait a few minutes. Now let's go back. Plug your USB drive into your PC again. Open your USB drive. Take a look at the folder that we created earlier, the RetroPie folder. You will see there are now a bunch of folders underneath. You have BIOS, you have configs, uh, you have ROMs. So ROMs is the folder that we want, R-O-M-S. This is where you, all, your, all of your games will live. I have downloaded a Pac-Man game, and this is a, so basically this is a Pac-Man ROM for SNES, so this is for the Super Nintendo, you want to put the game into the appropriate game system. So if you look over here, I have SNES, drop your Pac-Man game on there, and close out the drive. So one thing I want to mention is if you want more games, you can just search for them online. If you look for RetroPie ROMs, there will be a bunch of games that come up. I'm just using Pac-Man as an example for you. Okay guys, so what we want to do now is plug our USB drive into the Raspberry Pi again. Let's restart our RetroPie. Here we go. Now you can see that uh, we have Super Nintendo Entertainment System on the, in the menu. One game available. Here's our Pac-Man, select. Okay guys, so we're up and running. Please watch my next video that you see on the screen right now.